What is up, guys? Welcome back to part two of our UPA transaction. I did say last week when we made the Deancey v. Magnazone transaction that uh, we were going to have a part two to it and there was another transaction coming. Now, the biggest reason that I picked up Magnazone was because, I think I mentioned this, I didn't want the blade taking up all the responsibility of being a defensive steel type because it's not. I wanted another Pokemon that could complete that role. Uh, I also needed another electric type I felt because I didn't think that Electros could come every single week because Electros, uh, Electros is not the bulkiest Pokemon. It hits pretty hard and has nice coverage but it's not the bulkiest Pokemon whereas Magnezone can actually run bulk and the only thing that really neuters it is a ground type move as you guys probably saw in the last battle. So I decided to drop Deancey for Magnezone but there was another reason that I did that I specifically dropped Deancey for Magnazone and that's because we had another tra trade incoming and you guys will see it come up on your screen right about now. We traded Mega Slowbro for Mega Deancey and I haven't come up with a nickname yet for Mega Deancey. If you guys want to leave some suggestions in the comments down below that would be great. I would love that. But this is, uh, this is our transaction for this week and I'm very very happy with this because the first reason being I found a uh, <laughs> in our first two weeks if you didn't notice our Latias got paralyzed both weeks and as a result we were not able to well the first week we were able to keep hazards away because I don't think my opponent even had hazards but the second week we weren't able to keep them off the field as a result Entei went down to that earthquake in our in game two uh, and it took a lot of damage from stealth rocks and our slow bro couldn't call mind up in front of the Glalie so being uh, that we only have Latias as a defogger and Armaldo as a rapid spinner who I've come to learn is incredibly unreliable because of its speed. I need a fast spinner if I'm going to run a spinner. From, from now on I know in the future uh, that I need a fast spinner. I have other problems with my team and I'm going to address them in the next team builder but for now we're just going to talk about the trade. Mega Deancey gives me a way to keep hazards and status away from my team and that's the most important part is that it bounces back anything that's not an attacking move. Just the presence of a Magic Bouncer on your team, as proved by A-Drive, aka Dan, in the GBA Season 4, is deterring to your opponent to bring any sort of, well not to bring, but to ever click hazards or uh, status move in fear that it might backfire on them. So just the presence of having this Pokemon is very, very good. The other thing is, this thing hits hard. It hits way harder than regular Deancey. Look at those attack stats. 160 attack, 160 special attack. I can run this thing fully physical if I want to one week, and it has 160 base attack. It's also rocking 110 speed, which is equivalent to Latias. So, it's very fast, and it also gets access to a nice little move called Rock Polish, which I can use to increase its speed. So, if I don't want to run as much speed on this thing one week, let's say we don't run any at all, and we put the plus in special attack. That's 256 speed that I'm doubling. Only Sandrush Drill, basically anything that goes plus two speed that has a higher speed tier than me is going to outspeed me. So if let's say if it's a Scarf Keldu, I can run a little more speed. I don't know exactly what the threshold is to outspeed it, but I can run, um, I can run the exact amount of speed that I need so that when I go for a Rock Polish, I outspeed the rest of the team and I can do this. Like, this is scary, man. With Diamond Storm and Moonblast, these stats are insane. It's one stat that leaves it very susceptible to getting killed by a lot of things, is his HP. So, let's say I don't want to do this, and instead, I want to run it here. All of a sudden, you're dealing with a Pokemon that has nearly 300 HP, with 256 defense and 230 special defense, which is nothing to laugh at. That's actually pretty bulky, and it's hard to deal with. And then you have to switch in on a Moonblast, on a Diamond Storm, on an Earth Power if you're a Heatran, on a Hidden Power of Fire if you're a Scizor or a Ferrothorn. It's very, very tough to switch into. It's it, it's one of the hardest Pokemon to switch into in the game, and even more so in League format, especially if you're not prepped for it. The reason I dropped Mega Slowbro was because it's forced to Mega Evolve on, on turn one, and... I hadn't taken that into account when I drafted it. I was like, oh yeah, this is going to be great. I can use this. And uh, the, the way I use it in, in OU or just general competitive play is I'll bring it in, take a hit, scald, burn something, switch out, gain regenerator without having to go for slack off. And I can save my mega evolution for later game when there's no more threats to mega slowbro. In league play, I can't do that. So 
I needed a better a better Mega, and what better Mega to pick up than the Pokemon that we dropped last week in Mega DNC, and I'm really, really happy about this because in planning for my last game, I realized if I brought Meg if I had Mega DNC, the thing is I could only make one transaction per week. But if I had Mega DNC instead of DNC, I could have countered that Pangoro. I wouldn't have had a problem with it. I could have run just the right amount of, of defense CVs to be able to take a hammer arm and fire back a moon blast. So this this Pokemon, I think, is going to do wonders for us, especially keeping Hazards off the field for for Weavile, for Entei, and even for our walls such as Seismitoad, Stoutland, anything like that. Um, Stoutland, unfortunately, got paralyzed our last game, but that was because of a static, and I didn't even really take that into account when I was planning for Stunfisk, that I could just get staticked when I would hit it. So I got to... I gotta start really looking at abilities and taking them into account, and I gotta prep a little bit better. I don't think my prep was bad, I think I could've won that game if uh, the crit didn't happen at the end. Uh, hacks is hacks though, and it's gonna happen, and if I put myself in a more favorable position to where, even if I get hacks or crit, I still don't lose the game, then I'm winning. But until then, I needed to make a little bit of a change to my team, and I really like this change. I like having Magnezone and Mega Deancey over regular Deancey and Mega Slowbro. Doesn't that just sound way better? Like, it's it's. I think it's a lot more team synergy, and having a an offensive fairy type like this, even to be able to switch into to dragon moves, is just crazy. And the fact that I don't have to bring re a regular Deancey, and as a result, I don't have to lose a Stealth Rocker either, because as we all know. Mega Deancey gets Stealth Rocks too, so if I'm, I'm threatening something out, I can set up my rocks with this. I don't necessarily need to rely on my Seismitoad every week to get up rocks. I can bring Mega Deancey with rocks if I know I'm forcing switches with this thing. So, I think it's pretty good, and uh, it's also a Flying Resist, which is good for our, our Chestnut. Um, you know what, I'm going to address it right away. My wall picks for this season were not that great, and I'm, I'm running into a little bit of an issue that... Uh, if you guys know Miguel from the GBA, Mega Mogwai, I think he's running into the same issue this season in his run with his team. Not having reliable recovery on at least one or two Pokemon is very detrimental. If your walls are simply made to wall and take one hit, and then they can't do any, they, they can't heal back up their health after, and you need to rely on, let's say, like, less than optimal wish passing. For example, Latias, which is a set I ran last week, uh, or this, this past Sunday then you're not really taking full advantage of your picks. And especially if those walls that you have that don't have reliable recovery are also quad weak to things. I was forced to run a Rindleberry on my uh, on my Seismitoad purely because of the fact that he could run Energy Ball on like three things. So I misdrafted in that sense, but luckily we're not, I don't think we're confined to three transactions a, uh, a season. So I might just do a whole 180 with my team and slowly work it back to, to something that I want. I definitely want Weavile and Entei. I still want them to be the stars. Uh, and I, I was initially going for Sand, but I'm going to stick with Weavile as, as a main uh, offensive threat. And of course Entei on other weeks or both. Uh, and now that I have Mega Deancey, this thing can also rack up kills. Still have the Latias, which is great. I can Healing Wish back up this Mega Deancey. Like, think about that. I just, I get this thing super whittled throughout the game. And bring it right back. And steel types that threaten this thing don't really threaten Magnezone usually, unless they're carrying uh, ground or fighting moves, of course. But I can trap steel types now. So another reason that uh, this version of Deancey is even better than the last. So uh, I'm really uh, enjoying the, uh, the free agency right now. I think it's done us wonders, and I think this team has greatly improved. I already noticed right away week two, uh, I think my planning was a lot better than week one, and I think uh, my play was also a lot better. I think I need to relax a little bit on uh, on actual game time, like when I'm mid-battle. I think I need to calm down and really think about my moves because I'm making them super fast as if I was playing OU on the fly on my own. And I'm not taking a lot of things into consideration. So it's a learning experience. I know that. And hopefully Mega Deancey here can help us out with that learning experience. Again, guys, if you want to leave suggestions for a nickname for Mega Deancey, because I don't have anything right now. I don't want to uh, use Booty again because that's regular Deancey. We're going to stick to that We're using regular Deancey. But let's try to come. I don't want Princess either. Let's, uh, let's come up with something original and, and cool. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. If you enjoyed this transaction, if you like where the team is going, and if you have any suggestions, of course, leave a like down below. Subscribe if you want to see our other games, our other team builders, my regular OU, UU, RU lives. 
uh, throughout the week. And uh, don't forget to leave a comment, please. I I'm, I, despa I desperately need a nickname for this DNC. So uh, again, guys, thank you so much for watching, and ciao.